Binance FUD is still happening. We're gonna go over that today. Also, who just got shipped from the Bahamas to the US? Hmm. Those articles and a couple of NFT articles that are very interesting on the cool cats and what's happening at Blizzard slash Yuga Labs today on OG Crypto and NFTs. Welcome everyone. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. We're gonna go over this week, every single day, the best and the best and greatest news in digital assets as well as NFTs. Before we jump into it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. We're growing this channel. We are also on TikTok and Instagram if you wanna check those out, but we're also on Twitter, but don't say that too loud because you know Elon doesn't like to go mix and mingle all these social medias. Boom, let's, let's get right into it. All right, so our very first article here is on Coindesk. It's with Binance, everything is not fine. So let's just go over the last seven days and what's happened in Binance. Binance and CZ have been all over media. He's been talking to CNBC, everybody he could possibly talk to. Why? It's because Sam Bankman fried FTX, Mr. Wonderful, Alameda, they're all looking instead of themselves as they crashed and burned millions of people, they wanna go blame somebody else. It seems like this is what's happening in America right now, especially with our government. Don't blame us, blame somebody else because we're here because we're way too smart for you. Well, you're going up against a big, big spender fighter here in CZ. Let's go over. So on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we had all those, those meetings at the Hill about what happened with Sam Bankman fried The new CEO, Ray, Johnny Ray came up and said, hey, Sam Bankman fried commingled funds. It looks like fraud. Then all of a sudden, Mr. Wonderful pops up in those, in those hearings and he says, oh, well, I think it was CZ. Come on, pal, you effed it all up. There's so much more that's happening behind the scenes that I don't trust. I don't trust any of the, the centers that receive money. I don't trust the system that's going on. And I surely don't trust Mr. Wonderful because I think that these all have an agenda. They're trying to take all the pressure off of the campaign contributions, probably, now this, I'm just guessing here, all the money washed from the Ukraine into Sam Bankman fried out to con con campaign contributions. And they want CZ, they're just trying to do this, this smoke and mirrors thing. And he says he wants nothing to do with it. He is a private company. He does not have to put out his financials, nor does anyone have, you know, you, you can believe him, not believe him. I don't care. I saw Andrew, uh, Sorkinson, you know, grill him, oh, show your financials. Well, dude, you didn't say nothing to Sam Bankman fried about that. Why? Oh, he might have given campaign contributions or at least some, some contributions to CNBC or to CNN. Same thing with CNN. We know one thing's for sure. CZ is the world's largest exchange. Coinbase is number two. It's a far number two. If you have money and, and slash Cryptocurrencies on exchanges, take them off. You've only been told by, you know, I call it crypto Twitter now and YouTube crypto over and over and over. If you leave it on there, that's your issue. But this guy doesn't seem to have any money leverage. I, I Do I trust anyone? I don't trust no one. But one person, the two people I don't trust is the government and Mr. Wonderful. There's way too much underlying issues here. Next. Well, if I'm broke and I'm over leveraged, how is Binance US to acquire bankrupt crypto exchange Voyager's assets for 1 billion weeks after planned FTX deal failed? Well, FTX was trying to was trying to buy them. They ended up buying what BlockFi and they just they just stripped BlockFi of all the money. Well, thank God Voyager didn't sell out to FTX. They would have just stripped all the money out of there and would have spent it on his parents or property or campaign contributions or everything except for doing the right thing and holding one to one dollars of his depositors money in the crypto exchange next well he found that if you start be getting on the paleo diet and you eat the worms and cockroaches in your cell that it doesn't seem to be very appetizing so sam bankman fried 
wants to go back from the Bahamas jails and he wants to be extradited here to the United States. It says FTX founder Sam Bankman Fried sent back to Bahamas jail in a day of courtroom chaos. Well, guess what? He is now demanding being sent right back out to and be extradited in the United States before he didn't want to. Now he's realizing that the Bahamas, who we definitely feel he's in cahoots with here because the day he went bankrupt, the next day, He's claiming that the Bahamas took a bunch of the money out of FTX. They couldn't have done it without you, Sam. They, they couldn't. It's stupid. It's stupid. If they wanted to seize your money, show, the, seize, show the, the demand for seizure of it, you didn't. You handed it to them thinking that you were going to, in my opinion, make a deal where they weren't going to extradite you. You were going to stay in a, a, a lavish lifestyle while you were confined to the island to a tropical island. Stupid. My God. And you thought you can get away with it. But the pressures were so great that you folded like a cheap suit. And then the the Bahamas, you know, they had to go take you in, drag you to the worst conditioned jail cells in the world. You got tired of eating worms and cockroaches, paleo diet. And now you're like freaking out. And you're going, oh, well, all my buddies and friends, guess where they're at? All the people I gave campaign contributions are at? <laughs> <coughs> yes, U.S. Next, <laughs> let me bring in Emmy on this, our producer and current NFT editor. Hi. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? I am doing fantastic, but I'm about ready to cough myself out. Oh, no, that's not So good. I'm going to leave to you the next two so cool. I can go out. I got it. Okay, so uh, Activision's Blizzard, here we go, this way, uh, <laughs> president becomes ULab CEO. Here's the 101. So this is very interesting. If you're not uh, aware of Blizzard, it's a big gaming company. Their largest known game is called World of Warcraft. Now, it's interesting because um, they, their president is going over to Yuga Labs. I think this is very interesting news. I'm not going to uh, jump into like all these specific detail timeline stuff. But we all know that Yuga Labs is not messing around and they're one of the, you know, if not one of the biggest NFT uh, producers and labs in the crypto space, Web3 Web NFT space. So I think this is very, very interesting. Where? Hi guys, <laughs> we're having some technical difficulties over here. Okay. <laughs> so this is very big news. I'm really interested to see how the, um, Blizzard person moving from their company to Yuga Labs is going to affect the way that Yuga Labs is doing a lot of their products and just the way the entire company is structured. So I think this is going to be awesome and I'm definitely looking forward to see how this all pans out um, and what like collections they're going to be doing after this. So uh, check back. We'll definitely be giving you more information on this as it develops. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.